What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this drugstore makeup look and I just realized I forgot to put my ring on, but it's okay because my nails look like shit because we're still in lockdown in Canada. But anyways, today we have a get ready with me drugstore edition. I used a bunch of my favorite drugstore products as well as a few new ones that I tested out and I'm really excited because I just love this look. It's so pretty and bronzy and it was honestly really easy. Like when you guys see me do the eye makeup, it's literally so easy, it took like less than five minutes, not even. I'm also living for this hair. I did not show the hair in the video, but I can in a later video if you guys want or a vlog. I also really want to start vlogging more. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a long time. So let me know you guys, this is kind of random, but let me know down below in the description box or in the description box, in the comment section, what videos you guys want to see from me and if you would be interested in seeing more just like super chill um day in the life vlogs but yeah i honestly just got ready just to take some pictures today hopefully the pictures turn out good but i honestly just got ready to take some pictures that's it i'm not actually going anywhere so life of a youtuber <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy just watching me um you know do my makeup with some drugstore products and chit chat with you real quick before we get into the makeup look i want to give a huge shout out to boohoo who is sponsoring today's video listen i have been shopping at boohoo with my own money for years and years and years and i still do to this day i'm obsessed with their stuff they have so many affordable items so much variety i got so many cute pieces that i'm really excited to share so i'm gonna go ahead and play the clip now this first item i love so much you guys like how Q is this dress and it's so comfy and it's so cozy and I've actually been wanting to buy a dress just like this or just dresses similar to this like super soft cozy comfy casual dresses that I can wear on walks and it is incredibly comfortable like incredibly soft and cozy and there's still so much room like I feel very comfy in this like I said I've been looking and wanting dresses like this to wear just on cute little walks and like little lunch dates okay I'm not lying to you guys I got this dress because I'm like oh let me just try something a little different you know um, I'm actually like obsessed with it. How cute is this dress? It's so, it is actually really comfy too. And I love, love, love the material. The pattern is everything, can I just say? And it's such a comfortable material, you guys. Like literally so comfy. It's very, very soft. Like you would think you paid a ton of money for it and it was so affordable. It is so cute. Like, are you not living for this? This next piece I love so much. It's this top right here. It's so slinky, so comfortable, and it's very like, like you can customize it if you want it to be a straight neck or if you want it to kind of be like a sweetheart. I love this sweetheart. It is super cute and comfy, and I'm obsessed with this. Very, very soft, by the way, too. Okay, can I just say how much I love this t-shirt? It is the cutest color ever, and obviously you can style it up nicer. Like you just tuck it into your jeans right here. And look at how cute that is. Adorbs. I love this. And you can obviously tuck it in all the way too if you like that. It's kind of like a mocha brownie gray. It's so, so nice. I love it. And it's very soft and very comfy. And I love this fit. Like the size is perfect. I can't remember what size I got it in, but I will definitely link it down below, of course. Okay, this set is so cute. I'm obsessed with the color. The leggings, you guys, they are so, so soft and so smooth. Like, I wish I could explain them, but they literally feel like you're wearing nothing. Like, they're so lightweight. It's really hard to describe, and this might sound weird, but they almost feel like you're just, like, wearing a cloud. Like, they literally are so just, like, soft. I love this top. Like, are we not dying and living for this top on me and I love the color so so much the size fits me perfect I'm really happy with the size that I got the pants are a little bit on the see-through side just to warn you guys but I've been doing so much home workouts that I'm totally okay with it um, and I just love them they're so so comfy and so cozy so I will definitely be wearing this for my workout tomorrow morning for sure so this is the same set as the last um, workout set that I showed you guys but this is just in black and this is the shorts version so you can see that they are biker shorts okay i love this set you guys it is so cute i love the scoop neck like dip over here to show some cleavage it's so pretty it is a really pretty flattering neckline as well so i am going to link every single piece of clothing that i just shown down below in the description box 
The links are affiliate links, so I do earn a small commission. So thank you guys in advance if you do choose to shop from there. I always appreciate it when you guys support me. So other than that, if you guys want to check out this drugstore makeup look, then make sure to keep on watching. So I'm going to be using a mixture of OG favorites as well as some new products today. This is an OG favorite of mine. I love this primer. This is the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in Coconut. Let me just tell you, this feels so good on the skin. Like, it really gives you that glass skin look. It actually reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer, but this is obviously more of a jelly, whereas this is more of a water moisturizer texture, and I kind of prefer the texture of this one. The Wet n Wild one is slightly, slightly greasier. I know that's a bad word. It sounds like I'm, it's bad. It's not bad, I actually kind of almost prefer it. I like both, but the water jelly one is slightly more watery when it sets, and this one is slightly stickier, not sticky, slightly slicker. For foundation, I am gonna use my fave. This is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in the shade Desert Beige, which is usually slightly too dark for me, but I'm gonna like blend it down because I want a nice tan today. Um, and I might mix a little bit of this, which will actually lighten it up because this one's in the shade Golden Beige, which usually is slightly too light for me. So I always mix these two. I cannot tell you how much I love this foundation, you guys. I feel like it'll always be like one of my top holy grail foundations. It looks so good on the skin. I always say I feel like I'm walking around with a filter when I wear this foundation. It literally really does look like that. I am actually so sad because I just finished Desperate Housewives and I think in one of my last videos, I was just telling you guys how obsessed I am with it. And I'm so sad because I just finished. Oh my God, it was so good, you guys. I really loved it. But now I'm watching Startup and I'm obsessed. Startup is so good. If you guys have not watched Startup, you have to. It reminds me a lot of like Queen of Self. I think it's called Queen of Self. And um, Ozark, if you like those type of shows and you'll definitely like Startup. Also nail salons, still closed, you guys. Still closed in Canada. We are still in lockdown. I think nail salons are gonna open um, in July, so that sucks. I actually just bought some press-ons from Kiss on Amazon. I was gonna say Amazons. I'm hoping that you know I can use that. Not for like a day-to-day -day basis, to be honest, because I don't mind just leaving my nails natural. But like when I'm like taking pictures and stuff, it's just not a vibe. My nails are not done, right? So I'm like, okay, I need some press-ons or something. Okay, this is like a new favorite of mine. I've shown it before. I feel like I'm gonna end up using a lot of favorites in this video, but this is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer, and I love it so much. I ended up sticking with the shade Fair Warm, even though it is really light. Once you blend it out, like I just feel like it gives such a nice highlight. I don't know, I'm still into a bright concealer. And again, once you blend it out, it's really not that bright. So I feel like if I got a shade that was a little darker, then really you're not getting any brightening, you know? I've really been liking putting concealer there because I don't know if you guys can tell instantly, but it just like defines your cheekbones and really lifts your face. So I've really been liking that. This concealer is so hydrating. It blends out so nice. I've been obsessed. I'm excited to try these. I got some new blushes in the mail from um, Pixie. These are like cream stick blushes. I'm really excited to try them. I'll put that on soon. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild in the shade. I think this is a walnut. Yeah, where's walnut? I like to put it directly on the brush. This is the e.l.f. brush. I will link it down below. I always get asked for the link for this. So I will definitely link it. Look at how good that looks. I mean, like seriously and it blends like a dream. I'm gonna use that same contour for my nose and I'm using a super small brush just to get a really skinny. And I'm just making my nose a little shorter, just a little bit. Oh, you guys, my allergies have been killing me. Like, oh, I feel like I need to sneeze and my eyes are watering down. Whew, the allergies have been absolutely killing me and I never used to have allergies except I got them last year and I'm getting them this year again. And then I did some research because like, I'm just like that. I love to like know things. If I'm going through something then I need to like have all the knowledge on it. That's just how I am. Okay, that's my burger rising. So um, I was like, okay, I need to like Google this, right? Like what are allergies? Why do some people get them? Why do some people not get them? 
you know i actually learned something new and i was like okay so basically i re so basically i found out that the reason why we get allergies is because plants put their sperm in the air and it lands in our nose so basically if you have allergies like me right now you have plant sperm in your nose so that's just great i just love that i seriously had no idea but like they literally put it into the air in hopes that it'll land on other plants or something like that. I don't know, that's what I read, but I was like literally shook if. So I'm like chilling with plants for my nose right now. That's cool. I mean, why the fuck not? Okay, so I am gonna use this pretty pink um, blush. I really like applying cream products to um, the brush first. So I am going to Okay, that's really pretty and it's soft you guys know i don't like blushes that are like too pigmented so that's so pretty i like that obviously if you want to build up the pigment you can but i don't want to i don't like too much blush that is so pretty and i just put on more and i was saying i don't want to okay i realized that i did not um bake my under eye which i like doing that before i do my um cream blush but forgot so here we are I love, love, love this powder, and I actually really love the packaging too. See how it swoops down? A swoop, do swoop. See how it swoops down so that it doesn't like overflow? Um, I love that. I, this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder, and I think I'm in light. Yeah, the shade light. This is like so good, and it works with flash uh, as well so that you don't get any flashback or anything. Now for the rest of my face, I'm actually gonna try this. I don't think I've tried this before, I can't remember, but this is the Milani um, Prep Set Glow Illuminating Translucent Powder. So it's really good if you have dry skin, which I do not, but I love a little, love a little soft, subtle glow. That's pretty. I think it's like barely noticeable, which is nice, because you don't want it to be too like shiny. I'm just setting my cream bronzer a little. Okay, I really love the NYX eyebrow pen, um, but I'm also gonna use the Morphe eyebrow pencil. I love a good like eyebrow pen, but I've kind of been wanting to go back to using pencil a little bit. And now that my contour is done, I'm actually just gonna fill in my hairline right now because I just cannot stand even looking at it. I'm just using some dark brown shadow. So for the eyes, I'm actually gonna use the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. I love this so much. And for the eyes today, I really wanna just do something like kinda like bronzy and pretty and smoky. So I'm actually just gonna go right into this shade right here. And I'm actually taking a fluffy brush cause I wanna put this straight all over the lid. and I'm pressing it down first to minimize fallout. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here. Now I kinda wanna cool it down a little bit so it's not so warm, so I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here. I'm gonna take that same cooler brown and go underneath the eyes. Taking this Makeup Geek brown liner, I'm just gonna smudge that on the outer corner. And I'm just kind of smudging that. And that's it, just a super simple, quick, smoky eye. I feel like that took like less than five minutes and it looks like you put in more effort than you really did. I am gonna pop on some mascara and then I'm gonna pop on some falsies and I will be right back for the lips. <laughs> So for lashes, they are not drugstore, but they are affordable. They're from the um, brand Bold Face Makeup in the shade Lashes for Days. And every time I wear these, I get literally flooded with DMs and questions asking what they are. So I will link it down below. I actually do have a coupon code for 10% off, so I will also link that below. I'm gonna use the NYX Natural Retractable Liner. Then I'm gonna take the Morphe Lipstick in First Base. And the Maybelline Lip Gloss. This one's in the shade Ice, I believe, yeah.
Morphe setting spray. All right, so that is pretty much it, you guys, for the makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed just watching me get ready with drugstore products. I love drugstore products, honestly. I always have, but especially lately, I just really feel like the drugstore is coming out with a bunch of gems. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and that's pretty much it. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.